Ni hao ma. Today I'm going to give you the low down on low mean and knock all your socks off with my quick and easy three alarm firecracker chicken. Now, this is pasta, okay, spaghetti. And this is a Chinese noodle called mean. Today I am going to pass the mean to you. Here is wonderful. See this? Chinese noodles are normally much longer. You can see how long this is. You see this? So, mix it easier. In fact, traditional Chinese, they do not cut the noodle because noodle is served birthday, anniversary, weddings to symbolize longevity, okay? But to make it easier for us to use this, I cut this a little bit, and I cut this a little bit, so this way when you toss it, it's easier for you to use. The first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna boil the noodle. The yen ken lo mean. That's what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> lo, you know what lo means? Lo means tossed. Chao means to fry. So either chao mean or lo mean, okay? Lo mean is you boil the noodle and you toss them. The quick thing about this is, like for instance, this spaghetti takes about 20 minutes to cook. That's the reason why for quick and easy, I cook them ahead of time, put it in the fridge. For rice noodle or Chinese noodle, all it takes about two or three minutes to cook. So you don't have to worry about taking more than five minutes to cook it. Don't want to waste this, okay? In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up some of the, all the other vegetables. Now, I wanna show you this. You know what this is? Chinese celery. I will pass it around. I want you to smell it because this celery is just a lot stronger than this celery. This is also celery, but this is Chinese celery. I'm gonna pass it around and you can take a look. <laughs> yes, and you can take a look. Oh, oh, smell it, smell it, okay? Now, I'm gonna cut up some of the vegetable, okay? This is, okay. Put them all together, carrot. Or you can just go like this. Ah, look at that. And then when this is done, you set aside and you put it right over here. So we have all kind of stuff. And then we also have, I love garlic. So we cut it up the garlic. And then this is all sliced. And then I want to use some of this ah, crush and put it right here. Okay, so we have crush and slice, okay? Always clean up, very important. And then you get ready to stir fry. Very important, put a tiny bit of oil, okay? Doesn't take too long for the noodle. Okay, very nice. This is a two hand noodle. Now have the noodle being boiled, make sure it doesn't take too long to cook, see? Almost ready. And then we're gonna get the spaghetti in the fridge, okay? <laughs> Which is already cooked about 24 years ago. <laughs> that means you have to take a little bit longer. And then I also happen to find a little bit of leftover this. That means you can have vegetarian lo mein, you can have shrimp lo mein, ham lo mein, and barbecue pork lo mein, all kind of lo mein, okay? This is spaghetti, okay? We get the ready spaghetti right here. And then garlic, a vegetable, vegetable, bamboo shoot carrot, celery, Snow pea, bean sprout. And the same thing, carrot, bamboo shoot, celery, snow pea, and bean sprout. And all of these can be, mm, this is, ha, huh, dual walk. And then when this is all nice and done, one side, spaghetti, huh, low spaghetti. Mm. And then one side, we use the Shanghai noodle. Look at this. To make it really fast, this is how you do it, okay? You can either do it like this, okay? Ah, whoa, this is how fast you can do it, okay? Mmm, very, very easy. And then you can go like that. <laughs> no big deal, huh? In fact, while I'm doing all of this, I'm gonna ask, my good friend, Adora, come over here. Give me a hand. I'm gonna serve these to our guests. Put a tiny bit of sesame seed oil, a tiny bit of sesame seed oil, a tiny bit of oyster sauce, oyster sauce, and then toss it. Once you add the sauce, 
Mmm. And then you are ready to serve. Mmm. Look at this. This is one right here. Spaghetti. Oh, nice and colorful. And this is the Shanghai noodle, lo mein. Look at that. Beautiful. Of course. Ah, oh, Adora, do me a favor. Let's put some over here. You if you have happen, to, happen to have some <laughs> one of these, uh, you know what? You can even serve this leftover from the fridge. Okay? You can use any leftover meat. I'm gonna put this over here. Mmm, this is beautiful. Long. Okay. Let's put this more over here. Okay, not too much because I want the rest. Oh, All right. okay, not cool. too much, Thanks. yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next, Adora and I are going to make a delicious, quick and easy soup. Adora and I are getting ready some of these wonderful Charlotte. You like Charlotte, Adora? Yeah, I do, but I, I don't see them a lot in Chinese cooking when I go to restaurants. That's true. Because Chinese chef hardly use this, and they actually learn a lot from the, the Vietnamese, and, and this is actually very popular in Vietnam. And, and the Chinese normally deep fry this and put in casserole. Mm -hmm. And then I cut this up. Set it aside and put it over here. And then you can actually cut it like this. Adora, do me a favor, you can finish this okay, up. sure, no problem. In the meantime, over here, and you can also do the tomato. I'm gonna cut up some tomato because Adora and I are gonna do a wonderful dish, river fish dill and tomato soup. I was in Vietnam recently, and I love the soup so much, so I just wanna share this with you, okay? Tomato. Now, there are a lot of ways to peel the tomato and remove the skin, and this is one of the ways to do it. If you don't like this, you remove these, okay? Don't want this. And then you remove the skin like this. You see this? This is how you remove the skin. You see, the skin is right here. And then you cut this up at an angle like this. And then we put this over here. And once again, uh -huh. remove the skin, okay? See, the whole skin comes out. And then, you know, a lot of people remove this, but you know, I love this. Adora, you like this? It's I actually do, but good I don't stuff. think I could be doing that. <laughs> no, 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 you do it because you have to do it because you're supposed to help me out. Okay. In the meantime, while you're I'll doing do all best, of this, you know, <laughs> at home, at home, you don't even have to remove it. You just do it with the skin. The skin actually have a lot of nutrition. In the meantime, I'm going to go to the fridge. I'm going to get the fresh dill. Now, I actually grow this and get some fish. Otherwise, we're going to have no soup with fish. <laughs> This is the best way to keep it. I actually grow it in my garden. How many of you know? Um, how many of you know that you can grow a lot of uh, fresh herbs and spices in your garden? In the winter, you just take, bring it in and put it in your greenhouse or put it right into the window. Okay. That's why it's so wonderful, quick and easy because you do everything yourself. You see this? Ah, Adora, do me a favor. Okay. What you do is you snap this off, snap this off. This is a fresh. If you don't have fresh. You know what? You can yep. buy the dry one. The dry one is just as good. Dry dill. You can use dry dill. Sounds and then, good. this is how you keep, keep it nice and moist. Wet towel, moist towel, wrap it up and put it in a plastic bag. This is how you keep everything nice and fresh. In the meantime, we're gonna get the soup right here. Cut it up, one. You see? Cut it up, cut it up, and cut it up, and set it aside, and put it right over here. You see, you don't want to waste it. You don't like the skin? Hey, by all means, remove the skin. You see, remove the skin, remove the stem, and then also remove the seat. It depends on your mood, okay? And then when this is all nice and ready, mm, don't want to waste anything. How are you doing, Adora? I'm great. Bro. That's very good. And then what we'll do is add a tiny, tiny bit of, this is how you season. This is fish stock. Put a tiny bit of dry dill, tiny bit of fish sauce. This is Vietnamese inspired fish sauce. You don't have fish sauce, use soy sauce. Tiny bit of sugar to counterbalance the flavor. Black pepper, who oh, love black pepper. Ah, and then the tomato right here. Why are you doing that? And I don't want to waste time. Fish is very important because fish, you don't want to overcook the fish. That's why you don't want to put it too early. 
It's not because I forgot. Because you know, <laughs> you want to put it in too early. You see, cut an angle, 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 and then look at this. Every single one is nice and big and an angle like this. And then, oh, Adorno, do me a favor. Give me some nice fresh dill. Sure. And then the big one, we set it aside. Let's put it over there. Okay. Just do it and put it over there and continue to slice. You see how it just like sushi. You see this? Cut it, cut it, cut it. You love fish? I love fish a oh, lot. Oh, this is. And this I like is, it with dill. This is yeah, the great. best choice of seasoning. Now, why put would you in? choose uh, the dry dill over the fresh dill? What inspired you to do uh, that? Because, you know, in, this, in the winter time, some, some people, they may not have this available. Right. So this one, but this is always better than the dry one. It's Whenever good. you have fresh ingredient, do me a favor. Use fresh ingredient. Fresh ginger, fresh garlic, a few drops of sesame salt. If you happen to have this, uh, even though Vietnamese do not put this in, you know, when this all nice and ready, the fish doesn't take too long to cook. We are going to serve these. And then you're going to do me a favor and help me to serve okay. to the guests. No problem. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Look at this. The fish. Look at that. The fish really is beautiful. With that dill. Oh, the dill is unbelievable. Yeah. It is fresh and it's healthy and it's Wonderful. Look at the fish. Ooh. Make sure you get lots of fish in there. A lot of fish. <laughs> now, this is a lot of fish. That's good. That I'm one's mine. Give to the people. <laughs> you were supposed to help me to serve to the guests, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> Garnish extra one with the dill. Now, next, get ready for something really, really hot. Adorable. That's why I'm called Adora. <laughs> you know, most people when they cut onion, they get very emotional. <laughs> They're sad. You know why? Because you have two problems. Adora, please pay attention. This is good, important. First problem they have is they're too close to the onion. Okay. Secondly, they're too slow. If you cut onion like this, I guarantee you, you'll be very emotional. <laughs> okay, this is how you do it. Very fast. See? Very, very fast, and this way you have nice thin slices like this. When you cut downward, forward, downward, forward, when you cut to a point that you no longer can hold on to this, you see this? You turn it upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, that's how you do it. Let's put them all over here, and Adora, do me a favor. Sure. Uh, you cut this, finish cutting this, okay, and I'm gonna get some chicken, emotional. because we're gonna do a three alarm. Firecracker chicken. It is so amazingly dangerous. That's why we call it three alarm. <laughs> okay. Here, I have some wonderful chicken, chicken breast here. Okay. And then before I cut the chicken breast, I'm going to show Adora this. Oh, beautiful okay. job. Thank very, you very, very impressed. That very nice. Practicing. And then, what I'm going to do is, I'll show you, because we also have to cut up some of these wonderful slices of bell pepper. So, cut it up. Seesaw, 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 hot, done. Oh, this is. And then, you do this one, and also I want to do the uh, jalapeno. Also cut it up, cut it up. Also, do the same thing. This is what you call parallel cut. You see this? I want to get rid of the seed because the seed is very, very hot. Otherwise, it's going to be five alarm. See, all the seed is gone. And then I go one, two, three, four, five. Now, everybody should be reminded, including Adora. Yeah. Whenever you touch chili inside, make sure you wash your fingers before you touch your lips, your nose, or your eye, or anywhere sensitive. <laughs> Put it right here, OK? And then we touch it over here, and then we go. We cut this in half. Oh, look at this. We cut this right in half. And we go. I am excited. You're not excited? Ah, look at this. Nice and small like this. And we put it right over here. And we, this is going to we're gonna use it for this. I'm going to cut up the chicken, OK? Very simple. I slice this. I slice this and I use the same knife. I tenderize this. I, throw it. Look at this. I tenderize this. <laughs> and I go one. And I shred one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
You see how I do it? Yeah. And downward, forward, downward, forward, downward, forward, and downward, forward, and downward, forward. It doesn't take too long. When it's all nice and done, you transfer this from here to here. One, two, hi, ha! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and then, we're gonna marinate this quickly, marinate this. Everybody should know that when you do this, it is, it helps. When you marinate this, it comes out. Okay. <laughs> oh, it comes out on the other hand. Oh, okay. I want to make it look really nice, so that's why I also use a little bit dark soy. Now, this is light soy. When you use light soy, it's not very sting. This is light soy, okay? I want you to taste it. This is light soy, okay? Now, this is dark soy. Dark soy is much thicker, sweeter, and much less salty, okay? You taste it, smell it first. Dark soy, much darker, like a caramel. Mm -hmm. And taste a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna also add a tiny bit of cornstarch. And see this? Very simple. When this is being, ooh. Ooh, strong. This is very strong. <laughs> when this is nice and ready, we can also get ready to make some sauce. So, thanks, Ardoro. You know what? No, I'm no. gonna go stir frying pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> This is the wok that I actually use when I go to my restaurant to cook and train the chef. And this is a typical wok from northern China. One handle and put it right on top. Now, I'm going to make a dish that everybody is going to be excited because this is three alarm firecracker. But today I got so excited, I want to make it more than three alarm. First, put a tiny bit of oil. Now, this wok makes it three alarm. Dry chili, you extract the wok. The infusion. This is one alarm, two alarm, three alarm. That means no lip. <laughs> and one more, and this is gonna smoke your hair, okay? And then we have this over here, and then we're gonna put this right here. Whoa. Stir, stir. Oh. And then, we're gonna put some of this vegetable. Onion, takes a bit longer to cook. So we'll put the onion in first. And the jalapeno, put it right here. Nice and hot. In the meantime, I also try to make a tiny bit of sauce. Get the sauce ready. Here, I have some ketchup. This dish is inspired from a dish that I learned and I ate in Singapore. And I'm quite sure many, many of you love the fish soup, right? Make sure you thank wonderful, adorable Adora. Chili, a lot of chili, the ketchup. Dark soy, okay? Light soy. And a tiny bit of sugar. Balance the flavor, okay? This is the sauce. This is the fifth alarm, okay? Fifth alarm, make sure this is nice and ready, okay? And then, oh. Mmm, this is gonna be good. Make sure. And this is nice and hot. Make sure we have some nice wine. Whoa! From B. Mmm, look at that. This is gonna be great. And then we'll put the sauce in. Now, before I put the sauce in, I said, I wanna make it very dangerous. This is Thai chili. A lot hotter than the jalapeno. We already have five alarm. This is six alarm, seven alarm, eight alarm. This is totally dangerous. Ah, amazing. Oh, now, you know why the Chinese chef like to go like this? Because when they go like this, they push this back into it. So this way, you can hold on to this. See this? This is how you do it. And then we're gonna put the sauce in. Oh, put the sauce in. The sauce is so thick, you do not even need to thicken it, okay? Oh, this is really nice. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. This is enough, it's not a three alarm anymore. It is a five, six, seven, 
alam. Mm. Can you see that? Can you see this? Oh, look at this. I want to show everybody how amazing, how beautiful this is. It is not only colorful, it is also beautiful. How many of you here use a lot of chili? Okay, here it is. Remember, if Yan can cook with fire and passion, then so can we. Jai Jen. This is the largest market in Chongqing, Sichuan, right along the Yangtze River. I'm gonna go down and check it out. There's a lot of wonderful things here. What it is the typical the most popular Sichuan chili paste ah this is what makes a lot of Sichuan dishes today I'm very fortunate because I have the local culinary guy Helen to come with me to introduce me to all this wonderful Sichuan food and ingredients ah, how are you Helen that's pepper powder oh this is the so Sichuan, Sichuan pepper, pepper powder this is yeah. from this yes right you know, from this you use this to make a lot of Sichuan dishes. A lot of Sichuan this dishes. Is a, this is the characteristic flavor from Sichuan. Right. And then also uh, in Sichuan dishes, I noticed they also use a lot of uh, farwa beans. Look at this. Look at yes, this. yes. Wow, this, this market is wonderful. You know, so many different things. You know, I have yes. not seen a lot of these things. Look at this. Yeah. I love this. This, this is, is uh, famous in Chongqing. Chongqing. It's called Bai Shi Yi Ban Ya. Ban Ya means uh, a flat duck, pressed duck. Look at this. Right. Here in Sichuan, cooks find a million ways to cure, pickle, and preserve absolutely everything from meat and poultry to vegetable to some exotic ingredients that just have to speak for themselves. <laughs> tongue, a pig's tongue, whoa, 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 a lot of uh, speechless pigs around here. Hey Helen, I smell a lot of good, interesting pickle, brine stuff here. What is this? To get the flies away. Oh, to scare the flies away. Oh. Yeah. Mm, what is this? This typical Sichuan pickle. This is um, green radish. Yeah. And this is? Bai lobo, this white. is white radish. Yeah. White radish. And this part is? Shuan tai. Shuan tai. It makes very typical Sichuan food too. Oh, hey, I love this. Pepper. Now, I know what this is. This is a dry tau si. That's black fermented bean. black bean. Mm, this is that's very made typical, from right? very long beans. Long beans, see? like long that, bean. right? Long beans made yeah. with the long beans. And you pickle it, pickle and, it and then you and can fry it. The whole thing, or you can cut into little pieces. Yeah. Helen, I love this market. Full of action, excitement, color, and a lot of aroma. Yes. Thank you for being such a gracious host. You're welcome.